So in the systematic review, there were 10 studies on errorless learning with a total of 136 participants. The treatment tasks in nine out of 10 studies were factual information or associations between faces, names, occupations, objects, and pictures. In one study, researchers used a procedural problem-solving task, which was a seven-step procedure to remove cork from a tube. Uh, the outcomes in the errorless learning studies were task-related and included recall accuracy, the level of cueing for recall, so was it cued recall, free recall, or recognition? Uh, the performance of the procedural memory task, so the number of steps that were correctly completed in the one procedural memory task that was studied, and the frequency and type of error responses that the person is making. In 10 studies, 24 impairment level outcomes were reported. Those outcomes included that errorless learning was effective for teaching factual information and procedures, but it wasn't necessarily always better than errorful learning in some of the studies that were uh, examined. That practical questions remain uh, related to the interaction between errorless learning and the type of information to be learned. So it, it may be that with certain types of information that errorless learning might be better than errorful learning or vice versa. And that errorless learning may be achieved through various techniques. So this category of studies was actually quite heterogeneous and the way that people actually conducted errorless learning um, varied across the different types of studies. <clears throat> 